You read the title, this is how to air dribble in under five minutes. Plus, I'll answer my most frequently asked air dribble questions and misconceptions for new players at the end. So let's not waste any time. If you're below Grand Champ, this is for you. Step number one of three, the setup. To be able to air dribble in game and actually score, you need to be able to do the setup. So instead of training packs, I want you to start in free play. Two things to make sure you get an effective setup. The first thing to understand is you want a rolling, not bouncing dribble. To get a rolling dribble, you can use the down command in Bacchus mod, or if you're on console, up command to quick spawn the ball on your car and take it to the half boost. Important, I want you to stick at the half boost for the rest of this tutorial, so that way this all makes sense, and I'll show you tricks to do it closer or farther at the end. If the ball is bouncing as it ascends the wall, the ball will bounce off the wall and require you to jump early and get a very precise first touch to set up your air dribble. Make sure to kill the bounce you want a rolling setup, not bouncing setup. Step number two of the setup, timing the first touch. In terms of speed for your air dribble, you want to be halfway up the first hexagon on screen here when you make that first touch. The reason is because if you make your first touch when the ball is lower, you're going to have to use a second jump in order to get extra height and carry the air dribble higher. Or if you wait too long to get your second touch, you risk slamming it into the ceiling and killing the upward momentum of your air dribble. Practice this timing until you can get your first touch sending the ball directly down the center of your opponent's net. Also, if you're having trouble with the first touch, make sure you pump the brakes before the ball rolls up the wall. The reason I recommend you pump the brakes is so that you create a car length or so of space between you and the ball. This will allow the ball time to roll up the wall so your transition to the air is smooth and you can guarantee a good first touch. Two mistakes left, and if you've made it to this point, I'm guessing you're one of two people. Either A, you're learning air dribbles because you think they'll look cool. That's great. Keep on watching. But if you're somebody who's learning air dribbles to try to actually rank up, I want to tell you something. While self-coaching is good, and it's what I did when I was starting out, it can only get you so far. And if you're one of the thousands of players who want Grand Champ these days, if you want to get ahead, the best way is to work with somebody ahead. So if that speaks to you and you want to rank up faster, Faster, consider joining the over 500 people who worked with our coaching sponsor, the Grand Champ Bootcamp. Click the first link in the description below and DM one of their experts with the keyword 24 to see if you might be able to get coaching in 2024. Back to mistake number two. Step number two, the adjustment. Two steps here. Step one is you want to jump immediately after you make your first touch on the ball. The reason for this is because for an air dribble, you want your car to be as close to the ball as possible which means you want your car to jump at the same time that you hit the ball. Step number two for the adjustment, the air roll. The reason you need the air roll after the adjustment is, well, actually you don't. You could just fly upside down and try to do an air dribble, but if you're the average player picking up an air dribble for the first time, flying upside down is gonna make this impossible. So air rolling will help you sort of reorient your car so that way it's facing right side up and you can finish the aerial with control. To do this, off of the left wall, we wanna do a quick combo move. This is air roll left while pushing your joystick down and to the left. Off of the right wall, just flip it, but point is we want to line our car up so that way it's wheels down, nose facing at the ball in a perfect line towards the center of your opponent's net. Last mistake before we move on to the final step, if you've ever had the problem where your car is higher than the ball, the mistake you're making is you're probably boosting through the adjustment. So instead of boosting while you jump off the wall and do that air roll adjustment, my recommendation for new players is actually wait to boost until you finish air rolling. By waiting to boost, you make sure that the ball goes one or two car lengths above your car. Make sure you're not boosting through the adjustment. And then once you've got this down, we move to the final step, number three, the carry. If you followed up until this point, you should be just under the ball behind it, headed down the center of your opponent's net. At this point, you might be excited and want to hold down the gas to push the ball forward, but the key to an effective air dribble is to be gentle. To get this carry right, you need to tap your boost instead of hold it down. That way you keep the ball close enough to your car that you're ready to make an outplay touch as soon as the defender challenges. If you're having trouble with getting four or five touches on the carry, you might want to start with something called a two touch air dribble. It was actually coined by one of my YouTuber friends, Waitin Pilkin, and I'll drop his video on screen for you here.
Now let's cover a few last common mistakes and frequently asked questions. Number one, do I need to error roll on my air dribbles? Answer, no. Air rolling is completely optional, but it can actually help with creating some misdirection for your opponent and confusing them. And technically it should help you control the ball better. The reason for this is because of a term called gyroscopic stability. Basically, it's just this idea that if your car is spinning in Rocket League, just like an American football spinning in the air, it's going to be slightly more precise and resistant to direction change than if it was just flying without any spin. Point is, if you're air rolling, it should slightly reduce the amount of knockback your car experiences when you contact the ball. Question number two, where is the best place to score an air dribble. One of my best air dribble tips for new players is aim high. In fact, I learned air dribbles by aiming one goal length above the real goal. So instead of trying to score your air dribbles in the center of the net, try to actually score your air dribbles above the opponent's net. This is because most of the time, as new players, we undershoot our air dribbles. Plus, it's always better to miss high than miss low. Question three, what should you do if you mess up the air dribble? Stay behind the ball and don't move. Instead of trying to panic and recover it and get dunked, just float behind the ball and try to get a 50-50. The truth is air dribble 50-50s are still a massive advantage for the attacker. So if you're on offense and you mess up your air dribble, just float, stay behind the ball and try to get a good 50-50. And most of the time, good things will happen. And finally, last question, Luke, where is the subscribe button? Great question. Camille, the video guy, help me out. <laughs> the subscribe button is right. No, right here. Oh, wait, look at this. Seeing this, Camille? Okay, sorry. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a child. <laughs> Jokes aside, uh, you should subscribe for two reasons. Number one, if you subscribe, the YouTube algorithm is gonna show you more helpful tutorials like these. And number two, you should subscribe because the more people like you that sub, the more pro players will agree to play with me for YouTube videos, meaning the more stuff I will learn, the better I'll get, meaning the more stuff I can teach to you in these tutorials. Fair deal? No jokes aside, my time's up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, guys.